All right. <clears throat> okay, so are we live? Okay, cool. Hello, Instagram. My name is Sam the Mini Yeti, and welcome to another episode of Sam the Mini Yeti Live. And uh, I actually wanted to tell you guys, how are you all doing today? And I'm doing fine myself. Um, I was actually about... I actually... I actually forgot to mention, um, you guys know the Mass Singer Season 9 is going on, and I'm sorry, uh, I've, I've actually, uh, I actually forgot to check out the, the, uh, two episodes of the show that they actually aired, and I'm, I'm actually feeling a little bad, because now, I actually don't have anything to mention, but, um, but still, we, um, <clears throat> but still, I hope you all are doing fine this week, and, um, I hope it goes I hope this weekend goes well for all of you. Anyway, um but uh <clears throat> hmm. well, we'll see here. Oh, man. Um now what what was I about to say? Oh, man. oh looks like uh we already now we got some uh, people checking out the show now, finally. Platinum Saki is checking out the show, so hello there, Saki the Sock Puppet. I uh, I hope you're do. Uh, I do hear uh, things are going that a C two E two is going on over there, so I hope things uh, do well over there for you over there, Saki. And um, going to C two E two tomorrow. Oh sweet, pretty darn cool. Oh, and uh, also I did hear from Saki that um. That a uh, fan expo Chicago was happening, and uh, Jody Benson along with Tara Strong are going to be over there as well. Pretty sweet. But anyway, um, I hope C two E two goes well for you, Saki, and um, you know, good stuff. <sighs> I also I also got to mention I do have. Can't wait for Ariel, Saki says. That'll be sweet. I, I That'll be sweet to meet her, actually. Now, I was about to say, um... I do I do have some things planned later, including, uh... I, I keep forgetting to do the, uh... To do the, uh... Ask, the third Ask a Creature. So, maybe after this live stream, I might do a, um... I actually might do a, uh... And I have a question box in my Instagram stories, so so when I get that done, just be sure to ask some questions, and I'll be sure to uh, get that done whenever I can. And also, I actually plan to check out re to do reviews of uh, the other Wallace and Gromit shorts, and maybe even the film The Curse of the Were Rabbit. So who knows? I uh, Platinum Saki here says. Gonna sing part of your world with Jody. Ah, I bet that'll be sweet. Okay, I actually probably should mention about since we since we're on the topic of the Little Mermaid, I might as well mention the I might as well talk about the trailer to the uh, Little Mermaid remake that'll be coming out pretty soon with Halle Berry. Um, I'm just kind of mixed about it. I, uh, I actually do think visually it looks great, and, um, also, I actually do like some of the, of the way Triton looks in the show, in the movie, so, um, and another thing I gotta mention is that I am not a fan with some of the designs of the characters, particularly Flounder, and especially Sebastian. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, what have we, what have they done to you? But anyway, um, and, uh, also, uh, I'm a little bit of a, on a nostalgic hype as I've been re-watching, uh, Transformers Animated, which is one of my favorite animated series ever. But anyway, ooh, looks like we already, got, looks like we got a, a request to come on live, finally, so let me just get to that real quick. <clears throat>
Give me a second. I'll be right there. <sighs> All right. And. Hey. Hey. Hey there. Uh, hey, Chef. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Camilla's got some crazy hair. Whoa. Wow, wow. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh. Woo. Yeah, I have to turn on my light because they're yeah. a little bit dark. So it's kind of dark where you're at right now? Okay. Yeah. But anyway, That's anyway um, Camilla, what have you been up to lately? Well, I hear you picking okay. All right. I'm like, come on. I, um, have ape and the um, other puppets. Well, I, well, you're, you're the only one who actually uh, sent a request to come on live. And, um, but you know, uh, some things have happened. I, uh, I actually missed the mass Singer a couple times. So I actually, um, but it, it does suck. But so I didn't have anything to talk about it, but anyway, but still, anyway, um, and also, so I've kind of been nostalgia watching, and also I um I was just talking with uh, Platinum Saki about uh about about uh about uh some uh, cons that are going on over at uh Chicago where he lives. Yeah, yeah. Oh really? Oh. Just right, I'm doing oh, my really? new Spider-Man costume today. Uh, yeah, I actually, that's pretty sweet. A new Spider-Man costume. You think? Do you think you could uh, let us take a look at it? Um, it's oh, coming so in, it in the mail. Come yet? Uh, uh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm okay. But uh, but uh, so and. Uh, and uh, what else have you been up to lately? Well, I was me and my mom are uh, dancing the new Super Mario movie. Yet. It's I know. It, yeah, right. it's about to on when, right. on Wednesday, April fifth. Yeah. Me, my... Okay, I got I actually have to mention there was a funny video I actually uh, that was actually sent to me from a friend of mine, and uh, he actually showed like uh, uh, Chris Pratt and Keegan Michael Key showing uh, what Mario character is Keegan Michael Key and uh believe it or not he ended up getting Mario <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good one I was thinking like, I was like you know in the movie he actually plays Toad so you think he gets Toad but no he gets Mario and Chris Pratt is like you son of a it's like he's just saying you son of a but anyway yeah I find that really funny. Yeah. Hey, one of my okay, puppets okay, wants look. to say hi to you. Hey, with you. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. If that's okay with you, Sam. All right. Okay, I'll be right back. Waiting for Camilla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got it. We got a comment on the chat wall saying, "Can I join or not?" Well, you're gonna have to wait, okay? I'm not. I'm not I am. Um, this phone can only take so much at a time. But oh, there, there you are. Um, hi. Well, hello I, there, Sam. Yeah, I... You I never knew, right? And apparently you look like some kind of a cousin to being the green monster, which I'll give a shout-out to after I do this live stream. Uh, mm -hmm. Comment on the chat wall. So it says, I don't mind waiting. Good, good. You're uh, good. At least I got someone being paid, at least. But, uh... Listen, then it's not, um, you don't have to wait too long yeah. Yeah, yeah. to get people to wait. As my friend yeah. Sam, the mini Yeti. Yeah, yeah. Right, Sam? Oh, yeah, hey, hey Tyler. Yeah, 
Uh, so Tim, how you been right, so far? Thanks. Yeah, just fixing up. My puppeteer is helping me fixing up my uh, apparently boat this, here. Apparently, you're, this guy is good at ventriloquism. Apparently. Because I can't even see his mouth move. Who? Yeah, you, yeah, there. She, what are you, there what are you, you go. Now, now I see it's moving. All right. My yeah, mouth was yeah, moving, moving before. Now, and I'm just like, that is weird. That is some friggy stuff going on. Like, what the heck? Oh, you have any questions right. for okay. me, Sam? Since you mentioned uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie earlier, uh, I'm not sure if I asked this one already, but um, what is your favorite Mario game? Well, um, my favorite. Uh, uh, Jesse says, Jesse says in the chat wall, everybody can, can. Uh, oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Okay, you're asking for it now. Da, 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 run away. Run away. Run, 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 run away. Run away. No, sorry. <laughs> And that's where everybody had to escort the yeah. out of their lives to. And, and um, that, uh, you want me uh, to leave as well? Well, uh, well okay. No. Uh, maybe a couple, maybe a couple more questions, <laughs> and uh, then I actually do have a couple more requests to come on live. So maybe a couple more questions, and then uh, then. Okay. Is oh, Super Mario oh, Yeah, wow. because I did do that that's, whole day. Yeah. yeah. I can't blame you for liking us Super Mario 64. I... Oh, and just one, when I oh, went to Mickey really? Mouse 2 Town. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. And oh, says who was behind me. Oh, oh yeah. Pete. I said, who is that following me? He tapped on my shoulder and said, please, please <laughs> run from me. Okay. Uh, All right. And run away okay. with me. Camilla, it has been great talking with you. You know, thanks for coming on to this show. But uh, we got to let some other people come on to this live stream. So, so take care. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you another time. So uh, see you later, Camilla. All right. Bye. Uh, okay. Now let's see. Let's see who's next. All right. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 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 all right. And you're on the air. What? Why does my heart cry? Whoa. Hi. Hey there, Jesse. That, <laughs> that, that was actually quite an entrance you did there. Woo! Thanks. Like, you were waiting. You were waiting, girl. Woo! Thank you. Okay. But, uh, but anyway, how have you been, Jesse? Um, good. Actually, I watched a musical this week. Whoops. Oh, which one did you see? The freaking Moulin Rouge musical. Oh, that is sweet. Uh, how was that, actually? Oh, that was awesome. Oh. Oh. That's, why, that's why I said in the comments, everybody can, can, because... Oh! <laughs> the whole musical is still in my head. Oh, <laughs> yeah, when I was, I, I, that's why you were saying that. That's why you said that. I, I yeah. I, but yeah, I um, but yeah, for some reason, when I when you said everybody can can, I was suddenly thinking of uh the, the can can dancers from uh, Monty Python Spamalot. Yeah. That show is still in my head. I love it. <laughs> what? It's. One oh. of their promo Ooh. pictures. 
That is pretty sweet. I know. So, uh, okay, so, this, okay, you live in Germany. So and this, and this was the stage. Pretty. We, we, we're actually, we're sitting right under this elephant. Wow. That is pretty cool. Yeah. You, okay, okay. So, I assume, uh, because of where, he, where you're at, the show was actually, uh, or this performance was done in German, right? Yeah, but um, some lines in the in the songs were in English. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, like some lines. Most uh, mostly it was it was English because there were there were a lot of like elders, which I was like, did they watch the movie? Because I don't think they did. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. I was actually a little bit surprised. This is kind of a first a uh, hearing a. Uh, a stage musical that is performed with two languages. So this time it's uh, English and German. Okay, I guess that works. I, I guess, yeah. I guess probably because a certain songs probably wouldn't work in German, so they had to still sing them in English. I guess it is. It is just so weird that they took, they sang like uh bad romance in german and i was like well i <laughs> never thought of like uh, uh googling the german translation for bad romance really <laughs> yeah wow. oh. <laughs> oh my god but i have to be i have to be honest the christian we had fire oh oh sweet that that sounds pretty cool that's pretty darn cool yeah yeah, yeah so okay so, so, so most, so most of the show is in German, but certain songs have to be sung in English. That's how it went? Well, some, some lines in the songs. Oh! Because okay. maybe, like in the translation, they would not make sense. And they're like, okay, you know what? It is. Like, yeah, so it's like, like, no, we're keeping this in English. It's just not going to work in German. Yeah, for for example, the part where Christian sings, uh, "What does my heart cry?" He sings that in English, not in German. Yeah. yeah. But he he sang he sang it really from the heart through the soul, and then bam. Nah. That was that was just amazing. I'll bet. I'll bet. And I um, got I got a pin. Oh. Oh, I got a heart, a heart shaped pin with Liebe on it, which means love in German. Wow, that's a. That's we have they have four different four different uh, pins for uh, freedom, uh, beauty, truth, and love. Ah. That, that, and I got I got the love one. Ah, cool, pretty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I gotta ask. Uh, I know that this show. Is based on a movie by uh, Baz Luhrmann, and uh, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that really uh, look back at Moulin Rouge uh, uh, fondly. So I gotta ask, um, how does this show compare to the movie? Oh, you can't compare to the movie. It is a totally different level. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, to say is is the movie better or? Do you like this one a little a little better? Which one? I actually I actually like the musical a bit better. Cool. That's actually not bad. I'll give it. That's actually not bad. That's um. Maybe maybe because of that um of that pre-show with all the, like the samples like walking out walking around and like learning each other and they. Had like little ca little cages where they're like dancing slowly and sexy around. And one time, I, I looked like uh, like here, and, and it was like this this man um, on on this cage, like showing showing off himself. And I'm like, am I watching Moulin Rouge or Magic Mike? <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. 
So okay. I and this think this was this this was our Christian. Oh. No. You know, I'm usually you know I'm straight, but I got to say that's a good looking dude. But uh, Yes. I totally fell in love with it, 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 him. I actually got to mention, but um, I think another thing that makes uh, okay, I, I haven't seen the movie, but I know Baz Luhrmann's uh directing style, but um, I believe that would make another thing that, that makes this musical a little better than the movie is that there's no crazy editing. Ever, yeah, that, that's yeah, true. Baz Luhrmann usually has a weird way of editing his movies. Well, he actually, um, especially uh, in Romeo and Juliet and uh, The Great Gatsby and um, and Elvis. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, this is a little... Yeah, Baz Luhrmann certainly has a style, so I'm not going to lie. At least, at least with the stage musical, you're actually allowed to breathe. Yeah. Oh, my mom laughed so loud because... Um... In the scene with the sparkling diamond. Ooh, wow! And in, in in the movie, she she sang that that song that um, Men in Monroe sang. Wow. Wow. Diamonds are the girl's best friend. And then in the middle, she started like all oh, the single ladies. And my mom just started laughing. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Because she was like, "Wait, <laughs> is she is she singing a Beyonce song right now?" And I'm like, "Yep." Wow. <laughs> Woo. It, it was worth it. It was so worth it. I, I'll take your word. This, this show this show must have been a this this show must have been uh must have been so fun to check out. But um yeah. But yeah I um I I don't know if you, if you don't remember but I told you that I was uh, going to the um Mass Singer tour. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it got canceled. Uh, now, now I know why. Oh, uh, why? So they can air the newest season tomorrow on TV. Oh, okay, okay. I guess that works, but, you know. But, gotta... on, but on the other, other side, if that tour were still a thing, I wouldn't watch this masterpiece. So, yeah. That is so, so true. I mean... You had to trade out one thing for another, and um, but you still, but you're still entertained. At least you were at least um, busy. Yeah, and I, and I actually, I actually had the opportunity to talk to one of the cast. <gasps> no way. No. Yeah. He was he was outside collecting uh, donations for um, the people in uh, uh, in Turkey. Oh. Cool. That's because awesome. that, that was that was that was just this big uh, earthquake earlier on, and they donated money for that. Oh, and I, I was like, I have to go to him and, and say to him that um the show was awesome. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty and then and then it was a uh, freaking Harold Ziegler. Oh. Sweet. But he was he was so nice. He was so nice. Aww. That's that's cool to hear. Mm -hmm. awesome. Also they have like like um a very very weird looking toilet. It was not just like a female figure and a male figure, but it, but it was also like a non binary figure. Oh goodness. That's pretty cool. Wow. I mean, they, they also have, like, a lot of, uh, I think one of the cast members is, like, friends. Oh, wow. And the other has uh, the pronouns her, no, he, he, uh, he her. Oh, uh, he, her? What? what? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, so, so I guess this guy goes both ways? Yeah. What the heck? Okay. But um, but yeah, and then and then he wa he walked on high heels the whole show. Oh good! Oh, oh wow! And then and then they joked about uh, uh, corsets, and he was like, oh, "I know the struggle." Oh yeah. He walks off the 
stage. <laughs> Rufus, go stand in a high heel. <laughs> I know the struggle. Go. All right. Okay. Okay. So, Jesse, it has been great talking with you. And, you know, uh, thanks for coming on to the show. It's been all, it's always a treat to have you on. But uh, we do have a few more requests to come on live. So, you know. Oh, you're busy. Busy. You're busy. Yeah. Thanks. thanks for coming on to the show. And uh, hopefully, sure. we'll do uh, next time. Okay? Mm hmm All right. See you later, Jess. Bye. All right. <clears throat> Now let's see who's next. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. And you're on the air. Hello. Hey, hey Tyler. Long time no see. It's been it's been a it's been a long time since you actually been on this show, actually. I have. Yeah. But um but thankfully it's um yeah, it was um yeah, usually I get some regulars, but it's been a long it's it's been a good while. We've we've had a uh, Marty Monster on the show quite, quite a few times. And it's been a while since we had Saki, but it's also been a while since we had you. It's a good yeah. thing. I um you know, I usually we remember the general rule, friends before fans, but um you and uh, Jesse and Camilla, you're kind of right in that um, in that middle area where you guys are kind of friends, but you're also kind of like in the fan area too. Yeah, it's weird, but you know, uh, I'd say Tyler, you're definitely around in that friend area, and uh, you always have some good th some some good things to show me and all of that. Yep. But yeah, it's um. It's been a good while since we've seen you, man, and um, it's a uh, it's great to have you on the show once more. We, I've actually kind of missed you talk, talking to you, man. Whew. I got a I got a surprise for you. Okay, what what? You ready to see it? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You got got some pretty bit. Whoa, what is that? It's Lightyear. <gasps> oh, 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 cool. That's yeah, pretty sweet. He's not the small one that I have, he's more of a like a collector, it's like a more of a highly detailed Oh Okay He was, he was $200 $200 Wow Wow, that's cool Yeah, that's pretty cool I'll give you a good uh, I'll give you a good view of him You can see, I'll show you why he is What in the crap Oh, okay, okay, that is cool. That is pretty darn sweet. Look at his base. Wow, that is sweet. Yep, you can see like all the weathering, like he's all dirty and all that. Yeah, that is, is that is, that's, that's pretty, that's, that's awesome. I love that, that is cool. And his wrist communicator opens too. <gasps> oh. Is a don't tell me that it, it has a sticker on it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, that, now, normally when you think maybe you think of Lightyear, you're gonna make me think of Toy Story. But anyway, that is awesome, dude. That's sweet. Yep. He's doing that one in the final. Sorry, spoiler alert. But yeah, in the yes, spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. But um, we uh, there was the bit where where Buzz actually uses a jet jetpack, gets the wings. He jumps out of the ship and he goes like, "Not today, Zerg." Woo! Yep, that's the that's the that's what I recreated. Yeah, that is that is pretty sweet. I like that. Yep. And another cool thing is, uh, today starts my birthday month. <gasps> Ooh, it's that is awesome. So, uh, how old are you gonna be? 29. 29. You're getting there. You're getting to 30. I know. Yeah. I don't feel That's any. A, what? But yeah, you, um, but yeah, it's, uh, that is something cool that you actually showed to me. I love that. It's, it's 
one of my best ones. Like this, not this blows. It blows this one out of the water. What? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, wow. Cause the the helmet here it comes off. <laughs> oh 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 oh, that is does that still kind of cool? But the uh, but the one I have it attracts, so it goes inside the suit and it'll make it look like it's attracted. Oh, so it does the whoosh thing. Yes. Yeah yeah. That's what that's what I'm calling it. What that's what I'm calling after Woody calls it that. That's the whoosh thing. Yes, a lot of things on that black that's not on the big yard. That's okay. Okay, you know, um, I got, I got, I got to tell you, Tyler. Um, there's, a, there's, uh, even though I liked Lightyear, I thought it was an okay movie. It's got some major flaws. Like, um, like... you know, when uh, there's a lot of people out there, they're just like. This is really Andy's favorite movie, apparently. I was like, I was like, bull crap. <laughs> this can't be Andy's movie. Did I tell you? Did I tell you the backstory of how Andy got Woody? Um, yeah, we don't really know how and where Andy got Woody, but um, we always know Woody for the longest time is Andy's favorite toy. I could tell you long story short how ha what it happened. Okay, what? Well, well, he had a dad that was named Andy too. Oh. oh. And and he was uh, he was diagnosed with polio. Oh dang, dang. Yes, yeah, so he he uh, he got uh, he got his wallet and he took out a key. And he told Andy that in that chest will be your lifelong friend forever. Ooh, wow. That's the... Uh... So... So his dad basically gave gave Woody to Andy as like a gift before he passed, apparently. Exactly. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna get... The... Interesting theory. I'll give you that. They were actually actually going to put that in the movie, but it was too depressing, so they scrapped it. Oh, yeah. That's probably for the best. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I guess that works. So um, I... But, but, yeah, um, you know, Tyler, um, it has been great talking with you, and, uh, it's been a, you know, thanks for showing me what you got, and, um, we do have a couple more requests to come on live, so, uh, we'll see you, uh, later, Tyler, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you another time. You got it. Okay, so see you later, Tyler. We'll, we'll talk to you another time. All right. Let's see who's next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Hello, my old right. friend. And there, and hey, it's been a while since I last spoken to you, uh, Sam. Yeah, it has been a long, long while, actually. You're right. Yeah. But, so, uh, what you been up to? Like, any new movies you've seen? Um, not at the moment, actually. I've been, um, I do have a, I do have some videos planned for the YouTube channel, including the next Ask a Creature. I'll need to put a question box in the stories later. And uh, huh? and uh, dur during this live stream, I have spoken with Camilla and Jesse and Tyler. Mhm. Mm but um. Yeah, for sure. That's cool, man. Like, I don't know if you know. Like, um, I actually saw John Wick four a couple of days ago. So, <laughs> I it was alright. The story was not there though, but it was cool seeing Keanu and as well as Lance Redding's last performance, most likely. So. Oh. I'm like, uh, but I don't think we're going to be getting any more John Wick, so I think this is probably going to be the last one. Yeah, um, it's probably just, um, I think people might have been uh, kind of been done with John Wick for a while now. For sure. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Keanu doing another, like, live action thing, and maybe, like, 
to, I would love for him to show up in a Star Wars movie as like Revan, but yes! the thing is that would be sweet. I know, but the thing is he's he's too old, you know, and re- yeah. playing Revan's story is like a almost a ten year commitment because there's that there's a lot of stuff story beats you would have to go over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like because this. And I don't think Keanu could do that, you know what I mean? So maybe they can get somebody uh, younger, you know what I mean? Yeah, Like, yeah. in their 30s, at least. Yeah, at, at the very least, for sure. I, but it would, but you are right. Keanu Reeves in a Star Wars movie, that would be pretty darn awesome. I would love that. Dude, he would kick ass. He would probably, like, make, like, as long as it's, like, Dave Filoni or maybe even John Favreau riding him, oh, my God. We would, like, literally have one of the best, like, Star Wars stories ever told on film, no lie, by him. You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be really awesome. I would love that. But in case they cannot get him, though, I would love to see Tom Hardy as him. Or oh, him okay. playing Darth Malak. Yeah. yeah. Tom's- he can play both. That's the thing, right? That's how good Tom Hardy is. He can play two different characters, and you can still feel like they're a completely different person. Yeah. So I totally respect him as an actor, like being able to play completely different roles. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. But the big movie I'm really excited for is actually The Flash. Um, The Flash. That's a little bit of a dodgy movie, I'll say. Yeah, like, although I do not support, like, um, Ezra, you know, with the crazy shamanigans or whatever you want to call it, yeah. I, like, I, I want to see Michael Keaton, man, kick ass at Batman. Yeah. That's, like, that's, like, yeah. my number one thing I want to see. And I've heard rumors that we might even see, like, um, I've heard rumors that either George Clooney or, um, oh, what's his name? The guy who played Gore and, um, Thor. Uh, um, um, Christian Bale. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard rumors that one of those two are going to show up at the very end. And, like, if, but I don't know if it's going to be the, um, the Batman we know, you know? It might be a variant or whatever they call him in, in the DC universe. Yeah. But I've heard rumors that, like, you know, they might, like, show up in a different, like, the Flash might show up in their universe and be like, what the? Like, I can imagine the, some crazy shit happening if they show up. Yeah. And it sucks. But the only bad thing is, is that it sucks that it won't really have anything big to do with James Dunn, um, DC verse or DC universe. Because yeah. there's the DCEU and then there's the DCU. And that's how they're differing without the E. So, yeah, that's you what, know. There's a, that's what I think. That's what I hear. Um, the, the DCEU is kind of taking like a downward spiral, especially after, especially after Black Adam. And uh, and Shazam, Fury of the Gods, but I'm, for sure. But and suppose and supposedly we'll probably get like a whole new uh, DC DC universe after um when uh, with uh, James Gunn being in charge with it. And I'm just like for sure. And I, I I have a lot of faith in James Gunn. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've seen him write great stories. You know. Yeah. So I don't think the DC universe is like I think the DC universe is going to be in good hands for a while. So. You know, as long as the game brings in very creative people to tell really good story based on actual comics and stuff, I have a feeling DC might be actually able to, like, compete with Marvel, you know what I mean? Yes. It just had to take another reboot, you know what I mean? But I do think it's possible that they will be able to take down the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I think we need that, because, let's be honest here, Marvel's taking a dive, too. Like, yeah. in Phase 4, like, all the movies were kind of mm, too little, like, downwards, you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. So, like, the only good movie that I really enjoyed in Phase 4 was Spider-Man No Way Home, and I think we all know why. Exactly. But, so. yeah, the, the only, actually, there are some plenty more Marvel pro- projects coming up that I hope are really good as well, including the fourth MCU Spider-Man movie, mm-hmm. and we get a fantastic in this as well. Yes, they can't 
and not for a Fantastic Four. We need to get the greatest story they have ever told with Fantastic Four, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But no Doctor Doom, though. We can't have Doctor Doom in this story, because yeah, yeah. we already have Doctor Doom and all the others, so we need to get the Mole Man or maybe somebody um, new that we've never seen I before. Do, I do hear that the, the villain in Fantastic Four is going to be Mole Man, which I think that'll be a good change of pace. Um, For sure. Actually, let me and then maybe at the end they can introduce Victor Von Doom, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's uh, what like, actually, I was about to say, um, don't introduce Doctor Doom yet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, we got Doctor Doom. Like, let it build up, because Von Doom is, like, considered one of the smartest people in the universe. Yeah. That, that, like, when he and uh, Reed Richard combine against each other... You're literally just having the battle of the wits, quite literally, because they're literally trying to outsmart each other every single time. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I've heard, like, I've heard rumors that John Krasinski might still be coming in as Mr. Reed Richards, but I can't, I don't know, man. Like, I, they're just, they're really keeping, but I do have a feeling that at um, Comic Con, they're definitely going to re reveal. Hey, this is who we got as our Fantastic Four. We hope you enjoy these Phase 5 yeah. movies, you know. But they're definitely going to be postponing stuff, you know, because Marvel's going through a big shakeup, massive shakeup, actually. So, so I can't, like, it's, like, I think it's needed, though. I do think that they need to, like, start preparing like DC is. So, you know, because... Superhero burnout is happening at the moment, and the only way you can get out of it is having good writers, having new directors, new writers, new producers, being able to bring a new vision to each cinematic universe, you know what I mean, to tell a good story and to please these comic book fans who read these books and maybe even try to do add them exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because there's a lot of... Mm -hmm. Like, there's a lot of stories that need to be told on film because they're considered one of the best comic book stories, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, phase, like um, for Batman, for example, I want to see in the year one Batman, even though we're probably getting that with the Batman, the Batman with the Robert Pattinson. Um, but yeah, like, just, like, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing from, like, I'm, I've been enjoying what I see from James Gunther. I'm really excited for the DC Marvel, but they can still convince me, convince me. If they decide to, like, recast um, Peter Parker for the new universe, which I've been hearing rumors that's not probably going to happen. Tom Holland's probably not going to be our Spider-Man, uh, like, afterwards. I have a feeling we might actually get Andrew Garfield playing him instead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Playing an older Spider-Man, which then I am totally fine. Because then we could probably get like a, um, a Tobey Maguire-esque thing with him, but have him be a little bit edgier, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, okay. Uh, hey, so, um, so uh, Mr. Callaway, it's been great uh, talking with you. And, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, you actually kind of helped fill the space for this this show. And, um, you know, it, it's been great speaking with you about uh, upcoming movies and all. But, um, for sure, I'm a big movie buff, and I, lo I like you're as informed as I am, which is, I really do appreciate it. So, you know, yeah, but, um, we do have one more request to come on for sure. So, so, you know, thanks for coming on to this show. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. Oh. I'll see you um, next week or whenever. All right, all right, see you all later, dude. All right. for sure. Have a great night, sir. All right, okay. <clears throat> and you know let's see one more and then we'll um we'll sign out for the week okay so I th think this is the first we have from someone so here we go here we go <clears throat> I, I oh let me try that again you're on the air, air. Okay. One more, and if that doesn't, oh, there we go. Let it be. <laughs> I was going to run it on my side. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, oh, looks like we got a. Uh, uh, okay. This got this got interesting. I um. And everything just went silent. Oh, there we go. Oh, hi. Oh, hey there. Sorry about that. This is your first time to show. So, um, huh? 
But you know, welcome to Stay in the Mini Yeti Live. Um, first time, so, I, uh, so what's your name? Yeah. You can call me Engineer Aiden oh. Harris. I'm an engineer for oh, a railroad. Because cool. I'm with the Lumberjack Steam Train, and this is my oh, name tag. Yeah. And this is my patch nice. for the railroad. Yep, and not only I work for a railroad, I also go oh. film a oh, railroad cool. out there as well. Yeah. And yeah, Sam the Mini. You're Sam, me. right? All right, and and I apologize for uh, not responding to you right away because I was okay. inside a quick trip getting something. There's not, yeah, my apologies there's no for that. that. But um, but yeah. you know, I um, there there is the first time for uh, everybody, and uh, you know what? I think um, looks like directly. Yeah, and. And not only do I work for a railroad there, Sam, I'm also a fireman, no too. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, way! Yeah. As soon as I get to where I'm All at, right. I'll, I'll show you what my All pager right. looks like. I have it on me, because I, I have the volume cranked up on the whole thing, because um, I got to be able to hear it, because if I got a fire call for my department or not, I got to respond right away, because... Cause I just pa I just passed uh, firefighter one up here by me because I live in Wisconsin. Right. I you know what yeah. this is this is actually kind of some pretty cool. I don't think we've ever had a, a fireman show up on this show. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Just hang on, just All a right. sec. Ooh, so that's your pager, right? I oh yeah, guys, you know. I was actually I was actually around the time when we were in uh, movie theaters. It wasn't cell phones they tell you to turn off; it's pagers. Well, well, let me tell you something. This thing here, I could actually put it on vibrate because because I keep it on A for just my department, and when I turn it to B, it's it vibrates, and oh. C it does the same thing, and when I turn it on to D, it's just for the other departments and. Cool, and cool. I can just feel it vibrating too. Yeah, because it just makes that it make it actually beeps when I have a um if I have a call or not. And I usually don't like to turn it off, oh. but I usually just like to keep it on. Okay, that's cool. Gotcha. And I gotta be able to hear my thing. Yep. And I also will mention too that um. When I go out and about to film another railroad, it's actually out by Junction City, Wisconsin. Oh, it's wow. called the Canadian National Ooh. Railway. Yeah, yeah, because the Canadian National, they actually run a lot of different units out there. They run freight trains, stackers, oh. and a whole oh. bunch out there. And plus, I I even get a coal train that comes off the uh. Union Pacific line. Yeah. And. Cause I don't mind when the engines oh. are facing whatever direction oh. they're at. That's yep. that's pretty sweet. You yeah, and I also will tell you too that oh. I actually work here at oh, this so lumber you yard. Oh, hard, dude. Yep, cause I work in the warehouse out here, and these guys here that I work with, cause since I'm a hard worker, oh, wow. they call me a oh, beast. Wow, that is. Yeah, because whenever them guys see me moving a cart around, they oh. tell me, you're a beast, Aiden. And, and one of my other co-workers that I work with, he told Ooh. me, you are a beast. Oh, I Yeah, nothing beats this beast. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I have a question I'd like to ask you. Who oh. wants some Wisconsin fried chicken? Right. <laughs> yeah, I love, love right. How about that, actually. huh? Not, yeah. yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. My buddy Jarek Hogan and I, we asked each other if we want any Wisconsin fried oh, chicken wow. with french fries once in a while. Yeah. 
And I also will note too that um, when I'm working, oh, I have to have this. Yeah. I gotta have oh, some dude. water with me just oh, so yeah. that I don't get thirsty. Because, because these Canadian National crews that I see that run on them trains out there in Junction City, they have to have water just so that they don't get yeah, thirsty yeah. and they don't they don't die out of hours because they have to they have to work twelve wow. hours every that is day. Tiring. Yep, it is. But I actually have two friends of mine that I know that work for the Canadian National, and and their names are Paul Lehman Whoa. and Lee Rushenberg. Yep, they're my they're my friends on the Canadian National, and Paul Lehman actually gave me a double horn salute when he was going up to Wausau in L581 with Union Pacific Power, and same thing with the Kansas City Southern and CN units, and along oh, yeah. with a couple other units. And I also will tell you too that um, my friend Lee Rushenberg, he actually gave me a toot from the horn when. He was on CN train extra 303, 343 yeah. out in Junction City. Wow. Yeah, because I waved to him and he waved back. And I, because I saw him on M343 out there, M357 and cool. M347. Yeah, he's usually on the Superior sub mostly. And, and me, I just watch them go through because. The Canadian National actually has a whole bunch of cameras in, all over in them units, and they have cameras watching the rails, cameras watching the oh, crews. Oh, wow. They're watching. Hey, yo. Yeah. Good thing I didn't choose to work for CN, uh -huh. because I would not like uh -huh. being watched. Yeah. Because me, I already found a railroad that I like. Oh, nice. It's the Leona Northern one. Yeah. Hey, yes. I was going to ask you, Sam, um, later this evening when I get home, do you want to join uh, in my, on my live stream? I might, I'm not sure, but um, but usually it might depend on the uh, the time zone. Um, it just, please, is yours like central time, eastern? My time up here in Wisconsin is central time. It's 12.25 uh, yeah, it, where it I'm is, at. It is over here, too, so... Maybe I'll think about it, but you know, if I'm not, that's okay, because you know, I'm usually I'm usually pretty busy. I have yeah. a YouTube channel on as well. So, hey, since you brought that oh, up, really? I have a YouTube channel too. Oh, I have two of them. I got okay. one on my phone okay. and one on my cool. iPad. Now, I'll tell you the one that I have on my phone, because the one that I have on my phone that I'm using now. It is called Locomotive oh. Engineer Aiden Harris. All right. Under my name. And let me tell you another thing, too. I'm actually famous on my Lumberjack oh. steam train. Yeah, you got to check out cool. my videos on YouTube. Yeah. You're going to love it. So, so I didn't think we would have some local... We didn't, I didn't think we would have a local celebrity on the show, honestly. But, okay, pretty sweet. Nothing wrong with that. But... Yeah. Yeah, cause you'll see a, you'll see the new videos that I just made, cause you'll see the one that I just I just posted okay. a new video on YouTube earlier. It is the spirit of me spirit of on the lumberjack me. steam train. Okay, I will have to look that up. It's it's actually the spirit of okay. locomotive engineer right. Aiden Harris. That's me. Uh, okay. You'll see what I mean. And okay, thank I just followed you, you on Instagram, by the way. Sweet. Thanks. And, and don't forget to follow I, me back when you get done I'll with this live stream. I need to look that up. I need to look you up for, look you up after this. But you know, um, thanks for coming on to this show. Uh, and uh, yeah. So okay. I'm about I'm about to go inside work. Thank you. So it was good to meet you there, Sam. And I will All see right. you on down the main line. Locomotive right. engineer Aiden I'll Harris later, out. Dude. Okay. Later. <clears throat> All right. You know what? That was a this was a good live stream we actually did here. Uh, it started off a little bit slow, and uh, I was able to talk to uh, Saki through um, through the chat wall. I'm a little bit disappointed I wasn't able to, to talk to him in a 
face to face like we usually do. But um, we were able to get some good friends and a new one. We got, we were able to get, we were able to get Jesse. We were able to get Tyler, Camilla. Uh, we were able to get Callaway, and we were able to get uh, a hardworking engineer and fire fireman into this. So you know, pretty sweet. So um, until next time, uh, uh, thank you for everyone who got to view this live stream to check us out. Um, and, and also thanks for everybody who got to join me on this live stream and talk to me. So thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, Camilla. And thanks, um, the, thanks Callaway and thank the engineer for coming onto this live stream. And uh, until next time, this has been Sam the Mini Yeti and we'll all see you next week, folks. See you all Friday.